Birmingham City fired Wayne Rooney as their manager after only 13 weeks at the helm, and I'm here to tell you that may have been 13 weeks too long. We're going to talk about that and more here at Stoppage Time at the Pitchside Pub. Welcome back to Pints and Punditry at the Pitchside Pub. We're going to talk about Wayne Rooney and his very short and very unsuccessful term as the Birmingham City Manager. But before we do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me down below if you don't follow the channel already. Make sure you get in the comment section. There's lots to talk about here. And of course, follow us on Twitter at Pitchside Pub. Wayne Rooney, turns out, not a good manager. But the thing is, there was no reason to believe he was. And that's my issue with... Birmingham City having having hired him in the first place. Forget firing him after 13 weeks. And and I'm always, almost always, in the camp of the manager needed more time. I think in general there is a firing epidemic in European football, particularly in England, and the 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 weight, the balloon, the looming specter of relegation causes teams to make very bad decisions and they don't give their managers nearly enough time to get their guys in, implement a system, work with a team, particularly a manager that comes in mid-year. You don't get those long training periods. You don't get the summer camps. You don't get this sort of stuff. So I always, almost always, almost always, because in this case I do not, but I almost always side with the manager in the argument that they need more time. And Wayne Rooney made that argument in his public statement thanking the Birmingham City owners and doing all the things that he is supposed to say. But he also threw a line in there that said, time is the most valuable resource for a manager and 13 weeks is not enough time. And he is correct. He's right in what he's saying. But in his case, I'm not sure more time would have done any good. And I'm not sure he should have had that time in the first place. There is nothing about Wayne Rooney's managerial career leading up to Birmingham City that would have led you to suggest that any other sort of result was was possible. Now, I don't think anybody saw two wins in 15 games coming. He has not been that bad, but clearly he has not been a good manager. He had a short stint at Derby. He had a, a short stint in MLS. He has not lasted a long time anywhere, and he has not really had any sort of extended success. Uh, a little short stints here, there, winning a few games, but nothing permanent, nothing to make you say, this is a tactical genius who's going to lead my club into the future. Now, if you're hiring Wayne Rooney, you are assuming a few things. Maybe he can motivate the men. He's a very passionate player. He was a passionate player. He's a very passionate guy. So maybe he can inspire the men, and that can make up for tactical limitations. It's a viable theory, but it has not worked out that way. You are also assuming you're going to get some marketing exposure, some, some eyeballs on you that you wouldn't get with a, with a more, you know, for lack of a better term, boring signing. So there is something to be said for that. But at the end of the day, you can't get relevated for marketing reasons. And I get the looming specter and the fear that Birmingham City had it now that they are down in 20th place. And so a move had to be made. But my real question, and this is where I really challenge Birmingham City and its owners, what was your hiring process like that led you to Wayne Rooney? What questions were you asking? What research were you doing? Where was the decision-making process that led you to say, that's my guy. That's the guy who's going to lead us to the promised land. Because nothing about Wayne Rooney's managerial career would suggest that that was even remotely possible. So I'm questioning how they got there in the first place. Now you've got a guy like Tom Brady as a, a minority owner. He's probably more figurehead than anything else, but maybe they need to enlist his help to see where their decision-making process is, or maybe he was part of the problem. I don't know, I'm not privy to it. But I can tell you, without even being in the room, I can tell you that their decision-making process for hiring is flawed or was just flat out wrong if they led themselves to Wayne Rooney. There's nothing about Wayne Rooney that would make you think he is going to be a successful manager yet. Now, he has said he's going to take some time off. Maybe he can regroup, learn. He played for a lot of good managers. He can go learn from some of them, learn the tactics, learn how to run a practice, learn how to manage a dressing room. All of these things that you don't necessarily get just from being a great player. He clearly does not have them, but it doesn't mean he can't. And maybe he takes some time away. He learns, goes be an assistant somewhere, and then he comes back and is a perfectly fine manager. I'm not ruling him out. This isn't a personal attack on him. He went from playing, 
right to the technical box and it didn't work. And it didn't work at Derby, it didn't work in DC. There was no reason to believe it was gonna work here at Birmingham City. So I actually don't put the blame here on Wayne Rooney. I put the blame solely on the owners and the decision makers at Birmingham City because this never should have happened in the first place. You went out, you hired a big name, you clearly didn't do any research, or if you did, you did terrible research, you're not good at it, and you made a bad hire. And the whole world could see it wasn't going to work, and yet you did it anyway. And now you find yourself with relegation hanging over your head, right where everybody's trying to avoid being. So. I have major questions for Birmingham City. I hope they regroup and get it right this time around. They're talking about Steve Cooper. He'd probably be a great hire, but at this point, I don't trust their decision-making process. And if I'm Steve Cooper, I'm looking at them saying, why should I come to you? You guys are not making great decisions. So there's a lot of going on there that they need to clean up and they need to figure out their processes before they make another mistake. I would love to get your thoughts on this. Get down in the comments section. Let me know what you think about Birmingham City, Wayne Rooney, decision-making, hiring, firing, me. I don't care. Just get in that comment section. Let me know what you think. Make sure you hit the subscribe button for me if you don't follow the channel already. And of course, as always, follow us on Twitter at Pitchside Pub. Thanks, as always, for joining us here on Pints and Punditry at the Pitchside Pub.